Kabul Khar. She was the first Afghan female journalist to interview the Taliban after they took over control. Beheshta Agand quickly adjusted her headscarf when the Taliban showed up at her studio uninvited, two days after their takeover of the capital, Kabul. They demanded to be interviewed and rapid-fire questions they received. Her live interview made headlines around the world. It seemed part of Taliban efforts to promote a more moderate face, as the group promised to respect women's rights. She says it was about a week later that her life became a nightmare. With the help of Nobel Prize winner Malala Yousafzai, she fled to Doha. The woman, the Taliban don't accept. So uh, when a group of people don't accept you like a human, uh, they don't have any uh, good uh, picture from you on her mind, on his mind. So it is uh, so difficult. Many of her colleagues had left the country despite Taliban assurances for women to access work and the freedom of the media. Agand says the Taliban ordered her employer, Tolo News, to enforce all women to wear a hijab and that female anchors were suspended in other stations. She says the Islamist group also asked local media to stop talking about their takeover and their rule. Agand knew she had no choice but to flee. So uh, when there is no future for me, how can I stay in Afghanistan? How can I continue my job? I just want to become wise of my people, not wise of a, a, group, of, uh, a group of people came and said, uh, tell what we want. She called Malala after interviewing the Pakistani activists in the past and asked for her help to be placed on Qatar's list of evacuees. Now in a temporary residence with her brothers, she says looking back, she realises how much she loves Afghanistan and the profession she chose over her family's objections. When I sat in the aeroplane, um, I, I said with myself and my heart, uh, now you don't have anything.